You know, Yellow Face kind of dates back to um, the failure of my 1993 Broadway show, Face Value, um, which was about um, the controversy over the casting of Jonathan Price as the um, Eurasian lead in the musical Miss Saigon. And that was such a kind of culture wars uh, event, and it was weird to be caught in the middle of it. And I think I needed to process that, and I've been processing it for a long time now. So um, with Yellow Face, it was my second attempt to try to write a comedy of mistaken racial identity. Yellow Face is a comedy, and I think it's, it's a pretty funny comedy. Um, and yet there is, I think, a trap in the play in that there is a lot of characters in it. A lot of them are real people, um, actors from television or actual political figures. And it's easy to start to caricature them and go for the cheap laughs. Um, and in fact, you know, like any other play, um, characters need to be played real and they need to be, have their own reasons for doing things and believe that they're right and not believe that they're stupid and not believe that they're saying something ridiculous. Um, that, I believe, can be more funny in the long run but um, the, the, you know, things are always either more emotional, sadder, or funnier when they're played um, for real. Well, you know, to the extent that um, Yellow Face is an attempt uh, on my part to find some understanding of the issues behind the Miss Saigon controversy. Um, if that's the case, then I suppose Marcus represents um, sort of my relationship with Jonathan Price in some sense, um, or you know, certainly the, the, the thing that I was protesting. Um, and so as a result in the play, it's a very contentious relationship through most of the show. Um, but. I'm happy that there is some sort of meeting in the mind, some sort of understanding, some, some degree of, of reconciliation by the end of the show because it's really, I'm trying to find some closure on, on those sorts of issues.